guys, it's Ramar TV again, your math teacher. Today, students, this is gonna be the continuation of my first math tutorials entitled Basic Parts of a Right Triangle. But before we proceed to our main topic for today, I'd like to inform you parents and students that I am offering math tutorial to help you improve your mathematical skills. And all you have to do is to contact me with my cell phone number. And also, you can message me in my Facebook account if you want my service. And if you are new to my YouTube channel, please don't forget to click my subscribe button below and hit my notification bell to get updated with my latest uploaded videos in my youtube channel also leave a comment like and share it to everybody let's get started today my topic is about the application of sine function from the main acronym SOKATOA but first let me introduce to you the acronym SOKATOA SOKATOA is a guide whenever you solve for the missing angle or the missing side of a right triangle. In this acronym, each letter has meaning. For every letter O, O stands for opposite. Every A stands for adjacent. Every H stands for hypotenuse. S here means sine function or value of a chosen acute angle theta c is the cosine function of your chosen acute angle theta t is the tangent function or value of your chosen acute angle theta and remember guys there are signs hiding inside this acronym signs it's time to shine. Thank you, signs. Now, class, because of these signs, you'll be able to transform the acronym into three trigonometric equations. Let me show you. You see? But for today, let us focus on the application of the sine function. Okay. Let us draw a right triangle with the solutions. This is now our right triangle. And suppose, okay, it has given measures. Its hypotenuse measures 5 cm. Its opposite measures 3 cm. Its adjacent measures 4 cm. So, this leg is named opposite because this is the leg that is far from our chosen acute angle. This one is this leg is called adjacent because this is the leg that is near to our chosen acute angle. So because we have chosen the acute angle A, this is our acute angle theta. And this is the angle we have to solve for. And I'm going to show you how to solve for the acute angle A. class this is our sine function but because we have chosen angle a as our acute angle theta this symbol is replaced by angle a and also take note class sin is the abbreviation of the word sine and according to our given just a while ago our opposite measures 3 cm our hypotenuse measures 5 cm and because in uh, in the right hand side you have we have the same expressions above and below the fractional bar so we can cancel them leaving only three fifth in the right hand side then we have to cancel the label sin to solve for angle a we can do that by applying the inverse sine function in the left hand side what you do in the left side will be done to the right side so you also apply the inverse function to the fraction 3 fifth. 
and I will show you the sign, uh, how to compute angle A using the scientific calculator. Class, I will show you how to use the scientific calculator to compute for the measure of acute angle. First, let us press the keypad with the word shift and then the keypad with the word sin and then the keypad with the open parenthesis and then the keypad with number 3 and then the keypad with division symbol the keypad with number 5 and the keypad with close parenthesis then press the keypad with equal sign and this is how we get the this answer so if you want, uh, this is I like this uh, measure because this is very accurate. The longer the decimal places, the more accurate the measure is. But if you are required to answer or to give the approximate value, you can have the angle A is approximately equal to 36.87 degrees. Okay, class, we have obtained the value or the measure of the acute angle A. And this is it. Uh, in my previous uh, discussion, it was missing. But now, we have the measure of acute angle A. But how about if this angle is given, the measure of the hypotenuse is also given. This is the measure of the hypotenuse that is 5 cm. And this is missing. So we put a question mark here. Again, we can use the sine function to solve for the missing leg or the opposite. I will show you the solution. Plus, this is the solution for obtaining the missing measure of your opposite. So, we are using the same sine function, but I write P here to separate this one from number 0. Okay, so our acute angle or angle A has the measure 36.87 according to that given. 36.87 degrees. And our hypotenuse measures 5 cm according to the given. Take note class, this is a single number. Every single number can be written as a fraction with denominator 1. Okay, so both sides of the equation uh, have, uh, have fractions. And because of that, you can apply the cross multiplication. You multiply 5 with this number and 1 by this with this number. So after cross multiplication, in the left hand side, we have the product of the, of the number sine of 36.87 degrees and the second number 5 in the left hand side. In the right hand side, we also have the product of 1 and the second number opposite or OP. I will show you how, okay, by using the scientific calculator, you just encode this one in the screen and you will come up with um, a decimal number 0.6000 with extra numbers. But today's, in today's uh, discussion, I recommend that you limit the long decimal into four into four places okay then once you have the number in four decimal places you multiply it to five and then you will get three in the left hand side in the right hand side it is very easy once you multiply one with this variable the variable remains itself and after all this process we have seen that three is the measure of your opposite we can interchange it we can also say the opposite measures is equal to three centimeter or the opposite measures three centimeter because of this solution what was missing is now present our opposite measures three centimeter and let me manipulate again how about if this is missing. We are like playing games. But don't worry. I will show you the solution. How to 
solve for the missing measure of the hypotenuse. Class, this is the solution for obtaining the missing measure of your hypotenuse. So we are using the same uh, sine function. We know that the measure of your acute angle is 36.87 degrees. And the measure of your uh, opposite, according to our uh, right triangle just a while ago, our me the measure of the opposite is 3 cm. But we can uh, neglect the unit of measurement. We write only the number 3. And remember, always remember, every single number, this is a single number, every single number can be written as a fraction with denominator 1. So, as you can see, you have uh, fractions in both sides of the equation. And then, you apply the cross multiplication. In this process, we'll have the product of 0 0.6 thousand and h in the left hand side in the right hand side you will have the product of 1 and 3 okay in the left hand side it is very easy you multiply 1 and 3 it is just 3 this one you cannot readily multiply this into 1 because this is a number this is a variable this is a number but its value will be obtained later and then next step this one because we are really interested to get the measure of your hypotenuse, we have to cancel this one. And we can do that by dividing, dividing the left-hand side by 0 0.6 thousand. And always remember in the equation, what you do in the left-hand side will be done to the right-hand side. Okay. So, in the left-hand side, this is cancelled. Leaving only H in the left-hand side. This one, you can use the scientific calculator. 3 divided by 0 0.6 thousand, it will give you 5. This means that your hypotenuse measures 5 cm. Although it was missing because of the solution, we have uh, gotten back the measure of the hypotenuse, which is 5 cm. Sine function is really interesting. You can even play with it. So class, this is Ramar TV, signing off, and goodbye!